Hey guys, it's Kat, and today I'm going to be kind of giving some pregnancy advice, things I wish I knew, things I learned from being pregnant, just kind of combine those all into one video. I'm going to title it Pregnancy Advice, but that's pretty much what it is. And I'm actually now a new mom, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video since I figured all these things out while pregnant. So I'm going to be reading off my phone because of the fact that I'm not pregnant anymore, so like some of the stuff kind of slips my mind. Plus, I don't always remember things with being a new mom, I kind of just forget and get distracted quite easily. So I wish I would have taken better bump pictures. This probably isn't that big of a deal, but like that was something I really regretted not taking more, I don't know, with it being my first pregnancy, I should have documented it better because I'm still documenting it, but not like better. If I would have taken the time to like think it through, it could have done it better. So what I mean by that is they were kind of just in random mirrors, I didn't take them like on the exact day of the week, it sometimes just be random times throughout the week. I just feel like I didn't document it well enough. I should have wore the same general outfit, like maybe black pants and a white tank top or something. Something that I could have like continued the theme throughout pregnancy, but I wore like pajamas or something. <laughs> so it wasn't like, it was very showing. Now to some people that's probably stupid and that's not a big deal to them because they don't care but like to me I was purposely trying to document it so I could look back on it and now it's like most of the bump pictures I got I'm like eh you know I don't even know why I wasted my time with that because I'm not doing anything with them whereas before I wanted to print off every week like make a collage and print that off but oh well. <laughs> like if you miss them but it's just I wish I would have created a routine to make things go a little bit easier and stay on track with things because I think it would have just helped me out a lot better because I'd sleep at random times and it was just I would have weird things happen that I thought maybe were pregnancy related then weren't it was just it would have been better to establish a routine I'm kind of a need a routine type of person and it's made it even harder now that I'm a new mom like it would have made me more productive instead of like reactive, if that makes sense. There's a lot of things that I shouldn't have stressed about or gotten so upset about that they just weren't worth it. And looking back, I'm like, why did I even get so upset about that? If I would have just taken a step back to think about it, I would have realized it wasn't even worth my time getting upset about or my energy that I really lacked anyways. I wish I would have taken a step back and not rushed through things so much and just actually enjoyed it more. But like at the same time, I ended up having her like overdue so no worries <laughs> I got plenty of time I had a very good pregnancy but I don't miss being pregnant so <laughs> I wish I would have kept things more private and like thought through decisions more and just like kept my decisions private also goes along with the fact that I shouldn't have let so many people influence my decisions and just made decisions based on what I wanted and what I thought was best Okay, I ran out of storage and I had to delete some, but now I'm back. So, I have the three different sections of, like, what I wish I did different, um, pregnancy advice and the things I learned. They all can kind of be twisted into pregnancy advice. Just depends on your situation. So that's why I'm trying to think of that. Drink lots of water. Oh my goodness, you'll hear everyone say this, and I said it in, like, all my videos, 
but it really helps with the swelling. I know that sounds weird, but it does. And it also can like help your uncomfort, which you might be like, how is water gonna help my uncomfort? But like, it helps with everything, like weird things, that, like you wouldn't even think drinking a bunch of water would affect. And why am I so dark? I got really puffy eyes towards the end, so I would put spoons like in the freezer or fridge or whatever, and then put them like over my eyes and like over the bags and stuff, like kind of flip them backwards and put them on my eyes. If you look it up on Pinterest, it'll kind of show you how to do it. But that helped a lot. <laughs> that sounds weird, but it also helped with like it just being uncomfortable because like all the swelling. So for me, exercising my entire pregnancy was not really an option because, so I wasn't in the best of shape. And then I have asthma, which pregnancy obviously made worse, and especially towards the end. But then taking my inhaler would make my heart rate go up, which I kind of mentioned in some of my other videos. But I went on walks a lot. So going on walks really helped me, just helped relieve stress. It was nice to just be in nature and breathe it in and like, I don't know. And I think if I would have tried to push through and work out from the beginning or been in better shape before I got pregnant and then continued that into pregnancy, I would have felt a lot better, especially towards the end. That kind of goes the same with like eating healthier because now I got to lose any weight that I gained from pregnancy, which actually I'm... I don't know that I've necessarily gained weight, but I lost muscle and, like, replaced it with, like... I don't know if it's fat or skin, to be honest with you. Either way, it's something that I gotta fix. Because <laughs> I don't have to. But, you know, I want to. Also, staying, like, decently active. I mean, obviously, it's between you and your doctor if that's okay for your pregnancy. But it can help you with labor. And also, if I laid around too much, I my swelling would get worse. And it would just get really uncomfortable. And so, walking around helped. So from what I've heard and what I've experienced, any of the like pregnancy specific pillows can be just completely pointless and like not needed. <laughs> but what I really liked to do was take a bunch of pillows so I could like move them around however I wanted of different sizes and kind of like push them around me, you know, to make myself uncomfortable. So I had a thinner one that I put underneath my belly. I had a thicker one that I put between my legs. I had the one for my head. And then I had one propping up my back. I would just kind of use regular pillows and do it. And I found that much more effective. And cheaper. I just feel it's more customizable and adjustable. So here's a few things I learned when I was pregnant. I'm going to be reading this off my phone. I learned how to stand my ground and be honest without being rude. That kind of goes along with, like, I wouldn't care if someone got upset about something that they didn't need to. So say someone was offended by something that didn't even affect them, like... There's decisions I made about me and my daughter that people got offended about. And I, I just, I don't know. I don't understand why people get so offended about stuff that's, like, stupid. <laughs> so, like, I had a stranger get offended when I told them not to touch my newborn baby. And I was like, mm, you're a stranger. Why would I let you? And, like, you haven't washed your hands. I don't know you. No. 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 I didn't say that, but I thought it. If you feel the need to tiptoe around somebody, just cut them out. Cut them out. You know? Because you don't need to have to just, like, tiptoe around people. Now, don't be rude to somebody, but, like... I just, there's people I felt like I was tiptoeing around to try to not upset them. And finally, I was just like, I'm sick of this. I want to be able to be me comfortably without somebody making me feel uncomfortable when I'm doing nothing wrong. That's obviously different if you're, like, just being me. But people that have made me feel that way for a long time. Like, people that weren't true, whether that was friends, family, whatever. People that didn't actually care about me. I didn't cut out any family. But, which also led me to walk away from, like, toxic relationships whether that be friendships or whatever social media can be deceiving things are not always as perfect as they seem like everyone that seems to glamorize pregnancy on social media because like I don't know I feel like you're just not gonna sit there and post about the bad but I just I don't know I would feel so guilty that like I didn't feel the way the these people were talking about feeling and like I just didn't understand what was wrong with me but like nothing because then when you talk to those people, they'll say that they feel the same way. They just post the good and not the bad, which is fine. Because, like, you know, some people don't want to be a Debbie Downer and post about the bad. Which, you know, either way is fine. Just don't worry about others' grass and water your own. You know the, the saying that the grass is always growing on the other side? No. Don't even focus on the grass. Focus on your own. Water it. You know. Figure out yourself. Life isn't always as glamorous as it seems. So, I did a ton of research, especially on, like, different baby items and, like, Honestly, it was such a waste of time. Like, that research has done no good for me for the most part. 
obviously there's some things that helped but like honestly I couldn't even tell you a certain thing that like I could have just figured out easier on my own <laughs> like I don't know just different things that I don't know I just overly researched and it helped me none because different things work for different babies and I've realized something with like minimalism I'm not a minimalist but I did look into minimalism before I got pregnant that sometimes having more is less sometimes having less is more that's the same saying just backwards you know it can be so much stressful having so many products and just different things like just see what works out for you and your baby and like go from there because I thought I needed all this stuff and honestly she just doesn't even care there's a few things like worked for us really well obviously but there's just a lot that she just couldn't care less about what helped me to not overly stressed about researching or like overly overly stressed was the fact that I thought about the fact that generations before me did without some of these products that everyone was saying is a must have and are just fine so I can do the same so I kind of had already touched on this but it's like being more understanding and stuff so just because someone has a different view than you or does something differently does not necessarily make either one of you wrong you both can be right it's just whatever works for your situation like different parenting different parenting techniques and different things like it just works for different people <laughs> because you're different it's completely possible to disagree with someone's decision but like agree to disagree respectfully and just like move on from it just because you disagree with something someone does this is obviously circumstantial, but doesn't mean you can't be friends with them. Like for an example, political views, or I don't know. Cause sometimes you guys can want the same thing, but just like have different views on it. Like have the same end goal, but have different views on how to get to it. If someone doesn't like something that you do, or like bashes on you for something that you do, and it's better to just like walk away from it. like. Or explain it but like sometimes people just don't want to understand it it's kind of like public breastfeeding it, it's like not even worth it to get mad about it when people are rude it's just kind of like let it go it's just not worth your energy not everyone is going to respect you but that doesn't mean you need to respect them just because it's in someone else's nature to act a certain way doesn't mean you need to betray your own nature of not acting that way so if it's in someone's nature to just be very angry all the time, but you're just a naturally bubbly person, you don't need to be angry just because it's in their nature to just accept that you're different and that's okay. That doesn't make anyone less, that just makes you different. So I feel like this kind of got a little deep, but um, yeah, that's kind of my pregnancy advice and like the things that I've learned. There's probably so much more that I'm missing that I might eventually make another video on, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.